Excuse me. Hey, do I know you? Mr. Well, I believe we've met. We have? At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Uh, Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor rude. thinks you robbed him. Well, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? This is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. We do have great powers of observation. As my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, we will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is. But I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously, they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, at appointment with the Senator, we should head over there. It's a waste of our time. In his. No. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. If the counselor wants to apologize, he can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. If you're about it, Chaser, take a poster. If you're anything else, take a seat. Hundred dollars. Dead or alive? 
you did. You going after Lindsay Waffle? I might be. You know, I might just want to hang his poster up on my wall. Well, I yeah, they're they a bad lot. The Lamont Raiders. Well, I'll be keeping an Stupid eye on fellas you guys won't sure. leave good enough alone. One of these days, the government's going to get sick of private militias, you know. Will you hush? One of these days, the government's going to get sick of all of us. Anyhow. Don't tell them I said that. The bounty. Why are you making this feather someone else's problem? We, sir, are an urban police force. And the Raiders are, well, mostly a rural nuisance. My men simply are not suited for this kind of work. One moment, please. Hey. This is extremely delicate. There. Oh, wonderful. Algernon Wasp, purveyor of the exotic and the exquisite. Enchanté. Uh, Tacitus Kilgore. How can I help you? May I interest you in a uh, hat, perhaps? Yeah. How about a nymph? I import them from Brussels. The idiots in this town all want Italian nymphs, but the Italians make the coarsest of marble. I mean, quite frankly, the Baroque is an abomination. Belgium. Now that is a land for the connoisseur. Oh, yes. Yeah, as I always say. But, you know, I'm not really a nymph kind of man. No, oh, of course. Too ephemeral. You want something uh, more tangible, more gothic. I also make corsets. Would you like a corset? I always wear one. Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I ride a lot of horses. Um, the whalebone might stick in. Hmm, well, a cup of tea. Uh, sure. And what is it you do, Mr. Kilgore? Are you a gentleman of leisure? An aesthete? <gasps> an artist. Uh, I suppose I'm <clears throat> kind of an adventurer. Ha! Huh. Yes, of course you are. Here, be careful with the china. Sir, it is French. Not Belgian? No, no, no. They are Philistines in that area not to be trusted. Youth, eternally preserved in marble, is more their specialty. I fear China will always elude them. Now, why are you here exactly? I don't know. You're an adventurer, a wanderer, a lost soul cast out from heaven? <sighs> sure. Well, I do pay exceptionally well for certain objects needed for my art. Mm, you do? I do. Exceptionally well. Well, what do you need? Let's see. Right now, I have a couple of commissions. I need at least 15 egret plumes. Good ones, obviously. I also need 15 assorted orchids. Obviously. Here's a list. Okay. I will see what I can do. Thanks for the tea. Thank you, Tacitus. It'll be very worth your while. What is going on with Twitch? Girl, who had a work? Horse. All right, girl. Have a nice evening. Sister, my friend, Mr. Morgan. Oh, sir. Brother Dorkings told me about the wonderful thing you did. Oh, he talks a lot of nonsense. No offense. None taken. None taken at all. Hey, stop! These kids that are worse! Don't hurt him, please! He just left the cathedral, Mr. Morgan. Oh, no, my mother gave me that. Is that a dead horse, Baron? But I lasso this kid. You all right? Oh, I'll live. Kid did this? Uh, you know him? He robbed me. Which way you go? Uh, that way, I think. Thank you. Get off me! Where's my watch, you little weasel? I don't know nothing about no damn watch. Last Saturday, I saw you steal it with my own two eyes. Hey, you! Why don't you leave the boy alone? What's it to do with you? I can hit a lot harder than you. I promise you that. All right, forget it. Little shit ain't even worth my time. Thanks, mister. Where do you think you're going, boy? 
Fuck you, drop that thing, boy. Hey, you want some company, mister? No. You sure? Hey. What? I don't know you. This is Downs? Oh, no. Not you. Get away. How? Now. I mean, uh, hey, Help. Uh, help. Hold on. This man is bothering me. Now. Someone help me. Officer, help. <sighs> Are you serious? Out the way, bro. It's no more. How'd you get in here, whore? Thank you.
auto loading the law. Oh my goodness. Father, sister, I got your cross. <gasps> you didn't. Oh, I did. Oh, I hope the boy. He's fine physically, mentally he's a piece of work. But who am I to say? Brother Dorkins was right about you. You are the most wonderful man. Brother Dorkins is greatly deceived. I'm afraid, but I'm happy to help a little. Thank you. You see, it's a thing, but. My mother gave it to me when I was a novice, shortly before she passed. You are the most wonderful man. Oh, excuse me, Father. Sister, enjoy your day. See, Father? Brother Dorkins found him. I told you. Brother Find out of the bossery. I smoked into the morning. Oh, there day. you are, my dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahasi riverboat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. <laughs> That's no big surprise here. Hello. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yes. My friend here is in need of a new suit. Make this gentleman look like the duke he really is. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous people. You can see the aristocrat in his profile. The heavy brow from all the hidden the only one. Might I suggest a fine three-piece town suit, sir? Perfect for the occasion, I'd say. Oh, screw. A very good choice, sir. Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. Good luck tonight, Boy, gentlemen. I just got a cut, boy. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. 
Well, well, after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on. <laughs> my good man, could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. Make him look like a prince, sir. There, very smart. Come on, let's get to the box. I've arranged some transportation for us. Get in the coach. George, to the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you. From Toad to Prince. Yeah, this is a bit much, ain't it? The coach? We can't bring him up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to buy. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Puff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. Say ham. So, who's a mark? You all right, by the way, the driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Bly. Made a fortune in hosiery, of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keeps some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> Indeed. And what money am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. They are searchers when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. There they are. Gentlemen! How wonderful to see you, Arthur. You remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on, Jim. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling hey luckier there, than Mr. a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun 
tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. <laughs> now where can I get a cocktail? Hey there, partner. Hello, Feel sir. Feel free to join a game, sir. Risk grouse at. Take a seat, sir. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Evening. Desmond Blythe. Good evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables Strong recently. The Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up, waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fared? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quite old. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry, boys. I'm taking it all. We'll see about that. To hell with it. Here we go, then. Well, hello, my ladies. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting in the hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Are you in or not? Here goes nothing. Sorry to do this to you, but I have no choice. All in. Interesting. Hey, cowgirls. <laughs> Shit. Shit. Guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done? Bust. Well, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning? Well, I heard... Well, I heard there was some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Hey, you. Okay. I trust you. Now play as you wish. So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. Let's not waste any more time here. All in. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Pair king. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. He said, yeah, bruh. Uh-oh. 
Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace-high diamond flush. God damn you! No offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but, um, uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen, please, cash mm. these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know, I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign man. Where the rest of my money? You can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. Yeah, the rest of my money. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. <laughs> Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> idiot, huh? Pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. Can't loot this baby. Can't loot nobody. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Shot. It sounded like one. Come on. And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks give anyone a job these days anyway we shouldn't give ourselves away till we know we need to maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy which it surely will to the bar senor i hope you had fun sir <laughs> at the time of my life you boys sure know how to put on a show <laughs> that's wonderful <laughs> ah look there's your friend is not a notable cheat, and I beg you to take back the insinuation. There he is. Now, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. <laughs> What? What? 
Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch, uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss, uh, a Reutlinger or something. Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here. That boy was about to take the walk. That's got eight point five, and the whole gang got three thousand. I think we got time for one more. We gotta go to work at a war, bro. <clears throat> oh. Howdy. <laughs> Howdy. Open your eyes, fool. Concerned, I am the devil. Now get out of here. This cab. I said get out of here. This is an outrage. So, so for why me. no why I did fire. that? Because barbarity is boring, no? It kept me amused some years. You must go, my friend, before the Jean de Marie arrive. Hey, are you gonna do right by this fella's wife? You have done right by her. The little bird is free. Hmm. I am an artist, cowboy. I must do what I feel. Look, I have an exhibit at the gallery. You come, see what I mean. Wow. Complete. The hair? What the heck is that? Yeah, we gotta meet this brother. It's about to be a long ride, boy. We can fast travel to Valentine. We can fast travel at the end. Spades. What is 
is the matter? What are you with me? Welcome, friend. Christ, I'm liable to get robbed with this much coming in. Yeah. Woo! Deep pockets. Got him. See you around. <laughs> I doubt work. Ride the stagecoach! Now you are. Uh, partner, can I get a ride? Where are you going? How do you put up the strap? Can you take me to Valentine, please? Okay. Just preparing you. We're in for a ride and a half. Hurry up, man. <laughs> Gotta get ready for yeah. work, man. Sir Kang. Said I would. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. Is the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see it. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence, or hide in a the wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon.
Hey, Tom. Picking up? Yep. Supposed to meet the early train to San Denis. Okay. Better get a move on, then. San Denis. I go back there. I ain't got no business there, boy. Yourself, friend, this won't take long. Danbury. Yes. I need some papers, my friend. Nothing important. A file. I'm from head office. You're not from head office? Does that seem important right now? No. No. I need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. The one about the oil near Wapiti. I... I... Danbury, think, man. A mind is a terrible thing to lose, especially over <laughs> such a nice I... floor as this. It's here! It's here! one you done good Danbury real good they'll give you a promotion for this nope Danbury Tell the guard you're fine. Yes, it's just... I'm working. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Or head office will send me back to get you.
Ah! Just in time. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes, don't worry. He was very obliging. I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were going to enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you. Dang, sir. Hey, dude, is that? 